God does not want us to be isolated because isolation is a great killer. Welcome to today's DDRX. We're still making decrees from the secret place. We're planting the heavens. And today we want to release friends. Humans are created for relationship. God does not want us to be isolated because isolation is a great killer. And that is one of the main game plans of the devil. So you need friends like Jonathan to David. You need math carriers, you know, to fulfill destiny. And also Jesus must also be your companion and your friend. Proverbs 17, 17 says, A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity. So you need friends that will love you at all times. In John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Jesus did that. So I want us to decree to together. I command every raging storm around my friends to be still in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help them to keep their vision alive. Lord, multiply your grace in their lives. I pray for wisdom, discretion, and freshness of thought to flow into them. I pray that they will receive the boldness, strength, and finishing anointing required to excel in all their endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus. Galatians 1.24 says that, And they glorify God in me. According to the testimony of Paul Apostle, I decree that where any of my friends have been reproached, mocked, humiliated, afflicted, cursed, and rejected, you know, you shall again, they shall again be pronounced, they shall again be honored, celebrated, and God shall be glorified in them by the power of the world through the powerful name of Jesus. Today, God Almighty, the ancient of days and rock of ages, will hear us and answer us. He will look upon us and release good friends into our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.